Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new car review. My name is Paul Fix III, reporting for The Car Coach, and this is the 2017 Chevrolet Camaro RS. It's a brand new model for the lineup and it looks very similar to previous generations, but with little tweaks here and there that really sets it apart and says, hey, I'm here for the modern generation, for the modern driver. Let's go take a look. So a couple things about comfort in this vehicle. Um, the steering wheel is nice and beefy and it has this really nice uh, flat bottom which is very indicative of sports cars and I think it has a nice place on the Camaro. The lumbar unfortunately is non-existent and if you watch any of Lauren's videos then you'll know that she'll freak out if it's not in the passenger seat but it's not even in the driver's seat. So no lumbar, uh, but the seating position is very comfortable. Uh, the only thing I would say is I wish that there was telescoping uh, steering wheel adjustment so I could bring it a little bit closer to myself. I can sit a little bit farther away from the pedals. As for the infotainment system, it works pretty darn well and it does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Nonetheless, uh, there are some great safety features in here like blind spot warning, uh, and uh, rear view camera for parking uh, and parking sensors of course to go along with it uh, and there's this really funky uh, option here and I'm pretty sure it comes in all of the vehicles to adjust the temperature is actually the dial around the center air vents and you would think that that would open and close them like on the new Audi TT but it actually changes the temperature and I think that is a very unique, very funky option that I applaud. And then there's the shifter which actually feels very nice and has this uh, metal cap on top that says Camaro, which would be really nice if it was a manual transmission, but you know, it's not. Um, as for storage space, uh, the trunk has a lot of room and you'll see something about that in a moment. The glove box has plenty of storage space, but unfortunately the center console has almost none. Over the dash panel, there's these two big humps, which is indicative of the classic Camaro dash pad. Um, and that's really cool that they brought it back along with the heads up display, which is adjustable and can show uh, music navigation and uh, driving statistics. So that's very nice, but the humps actually block view to a certain extent, and that's that's in a car that already has uh, small sight lines uh, and, and difficult to see out the uh, the quarters, and uh, you know really high hood. So the the humps aren't really helping. They could be a lot smaller, uh, just to make it a little bit easier to see. This is essentially a car that's supposed to be a Camaro. It's not really tuned to be an everyday driver. It's it's supposed to be you know, what it is, very indicative of the classic car and the generations that came before it. Here we have the trunk. It is high, it is wide, it is deep, and if you put down the rear seats, you can fit two, maybe three sets of golf clubs back here. But, as you can see, the opening is really small, so maybe fitting in a luggage might be difficult. But, if you can get stuff in there, you got a lot of storage space. It is a nostalgia machine through and through. It is a real Camaro. If you want a muscle car and you, for some reason, can't go up to the V8, this is a great place to start. So if you liked this video and you want to see more of us, you can like our video, you can subscribe to our channel to see more reviews and his turn, her turn coming up soon. And make sure to leave a comment. We love your comments. We read all of your comments and share it with your friends, share it with your family, share it with your enemies because we want everybody watching these videos. You can follow me, Paul Fix the Third, at Paul Fix Three on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll be seeing you soon.